Hey guys. Oh my god. It has been so long since I've made a video, since I've sat down to film. Oops, I did it again. I disappeared. No, but for real. Uh, <laughs> I know you guys don't like it when I, you know, come with the excuses, you know, but I did actually recently start a new job. Uh, it's still freelance. I still work from home, but it is a part-time, full-time-ish job. So I spent a lot of hours working uh, on not my own shit. So if I had a bad schedule before, whoo, whoo, baby it just got worse sorry i had to switch the angle because this is a new setup in case you didn't notice and i don't know what i'm doing okay Anyway, I'm working on a new schedule for myself basically and I want to come up with dates that I'm gonna post So like I used to post on my main channel Tuesdays and Saturdays and now I post like once a year Anyway, but I want to come up with one day a week on my main channel one day a week on my beauty channel And I want to stick to those dates. I need to just like grasp working again with all of this. It's hard, okay? Who knew real jobs were hard? But anyway, enough about that because today is truly a monumental day. Today is the day I got PR without Kathleen having to give it to me. That's right, Hip Dot sent me PR. And not only that, I actually recently got news that ColourPop has added me to their PR list. It is not easy being famous. Um, but I'm taking it well. No, seriously, I am so fucking grateful. I have been messaging brands, DMing brands, being ignored for so long now. And I'm really excited about reviewing this collection because from the second I saw it, I knew I wanted it. SpongeBob is the original meme. Like, we were watching a meme and we didn't even know it. So that's what we have today. I have the entire collection, you know, PR and all. And this box is amazing. I'm, this is the thing about PR. I love it so much. And this is like such a good quality box, but it's like, what can I store in here? You know, like, what can I use this for? Paper? I don't know. I am gonna be reviewing the entire collection today. There is an eyeshadow palette, a lip gloss trio, a bronzer blush duo, and face masks, which I'm actually gonna put on first. And wait until you see this shit. This shit is creepy. I do wanna mention really quick that yes, although I did get this in PR, how many times can I say that? PR, 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 I got PR. But even though I got this collection for free, I am never gonna be that person that tells you I like something if I do not like it. I don't care if that gets me kicked off of PR list. Like, I don't give a shit. So, I want you guys to know that I'm never gonna be that fucking person. So, we're gonna review this honestly, and these face masks are creepy as shit. Let me put one on. I wanna use the Patrick one because I feel like I see everyone using the SpongeBob one. Patrick needs some love too. And let me put on my little, my little headband that barely fits on my head and rips out my hair every time I use it because I have a big ass head. Okay, I zoomed you in because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Someone commented that they would like to see my face from further away and I agree. They didn't say it like that. They were just like, hey, for the face parts, can you zoom away? It's too close. Oh, this is really tight. I feel like I'm getting ready to limpiar. Donde esta la escoba? Dame que voy a limpiar esta casa. Esta casa está de madre. There's something about sheet masks. It's like this weird sensory thing. I hate touching them like all of this like all this sliminess <laughs> you guys are not ready for this okay here we go who lives in a pineapple on <laughs> square pants bitch oh no <laughs> this creepy oh my god i look like a psychopath i look like i skinned someone's face and put it on mine i'm gonna read you some facts this is vegan and cruelty free which is amazing it's a conditioning and nourishing face mask with seaweed and hyaluronic acid okay i felt burning so <laughs> i was wondering it definitely has like a tingling sensation going on kind of like when i put on my um like aba is that it the aba acid like serum at night this is what it kind of feels like just a little a little burn. I like burning. Am I the only person that feels like when my skin's burning or like when I put on a serum and it burns, I'm like, good, it's working. It might not mean it's working. I just feel like things that burn work. <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna put it out there. I think that they did this design on purpose. They knew everyone was gonna take pictures of themselves because what the fuck is this? Actually, it worked. I wanna Instagram it. I'm gonna Instagram and leave this mask on for about 10, 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've let it dry enough. It was actually really funny. I went downstairs. Noah is terrified of me <laughs> when I have this on. Let's take this off. Oh my god, I'm out of breath from the stairs, of course. Let me rub it in. Oh, it's juicy. I mean, that's pretty typical of sheet masks. Like, it's really liquidy. I don't know if it was the smartest thing to do to put it, like, before makeup. I'm gonna start with my eyes, per usual. I'm not gonna prime my face yet because it's still soaking wet. I really love the packaging that they chose for this entire collection. I feel like the face masks, although very fucking creepy, they're really cute. Like, they're, like, holographic almost. And then you have the eyeshadow palettes. They come in this little 
thing. And then this is the eyeshadow palette. This is what drew me to this collection. I just felt like it had a really good like range of colors. I mean, I feel like you'll find colorful palettes nowadays, but it's just a few colors. Like you'll have a pop of blue somewhere, a pop of pink somewhere. I just felt like this gave you a lot to work with. And I have no idea what look I'm going to do. I kind of wanted to do like a pinky, sunsetty look. I don't know what that means. So we'll start off with that, and then as time goes on, we will go into the rest of the collection. So I'm going to prime my eyes. Yeah, you already know what I'm using. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. My skin is super sticky, like extremely. Can you see that? My hand's like getting stuck to my skin. Like it's very sticky. <laughs> Feels kind of like if you just put glue on your face, not like it's set, but like you just put glue on your face. It takes me back to the days where Nikki Tutorials had all of us fucking idiots putting aftershave on her face <laughs> so it could be sticky. Why did we do that? I don't know, Nikki said to, so. All right, so I'm gonna prime my eyes. Guys, it's fucking Leo season, bitch. Everybody wants to say that Leos like love themselves and you know what? Yes, we do, bitch. Everybody should love themselves. But luckily for me, I like equally hate myself so like it balances me and keeps me humble. I mean, I don't hate myself. I just have a lot of insecurities Also, my anxiety like stands in the way of me being a true Leo. That's how I feel at least by the way while I'm talking shit I'm gonna put this color on right here in the middle. It's called Imagination. Oh, I love the names of these this brings me back I'm not gonna set this because I feel like I don't know. I can't find powder, so. But anyway, okay, Leo season. That's where I was at. This summer has been really rough, especially the month of July. That, like, Mercury retrograde, I don't know what the fuck. It was horrible. It was just like one wrong thing after another. I just felt so stressed out and I didn't, I didn't know how to cope. Like it was also like one of the first full months since my mom had moved out and I just felt really emotional and I felt like things just kept piling on top of each other. And I shit you not, like in the last few days of July, beginning August, like I just felt so much better. And not only that, like life just got better. I got a lot of opportunities. I started this new job. I'm just starting to like figure shit out and feeling like, okay, I can handle this. Like, I feel like that's the part that annoys me the most about anxiety. It's like, oh, I I can't handle this and that is like the worst feeling ever you just feel like you cannot handle what's happening and I don't feel that way this month I feel really really hopeful I feel like I can handle anything like I can fucking do this shit okay I'm not gonna wipe off anything on this brush I'm just gonna kind of like do that professional move right there and I'm gonna grab this color it's called best shade ever and I'm just gonna run that here on the top just to like diffuse this even more but I so far really love how these colors are applying that orangey shade right here it was like fucking butter it took no effort to blend Wow I had heard here and there about hip dot cosmetics but I had never tried it and while wow, these shades are fucking buttery as shit. Why am I like this every other beauty guru would be like oh you know this shade it blends really easily meanwhile I say it's buttery as shit. Oh my god, I didn't mention the best part of the palette. Okay, so it closes like this, but when you open it, it actually is designed where you can just like leave it on a table like this so the mirror is propped up. If you're traveling or you're on the go in a hotel room, whatever, you can prop up your mirror like this and do your makeup that way. This is like so smart. Why isn't everyone doing this? All right, so right now I have not even blended the eyes yet. I am literally just applying the shadows and it looks like I already blended. Again, I am not trying to suck anyone's ass, literally. Ew, no faints. It'd be like sucking an ass, but I don't. I swear, being in my head is such a journey. It's like, why am I doing a beauty video and talking about sucking ass? Like, what? Why, Jesse? Even though it looks blended, I am just gonna run over it really quick with my blending brush before I move on to the next shade. I don't know where I'm going with this look. I just wanted to lay down a transition. I feel like I want to do pink. Does that match with what I just put on? Only God knows. Only God and everyone else on YouTube can judge me. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this color. It is called Penny Pincher, and I'm just gonna put that in my crease, see what happens. I'm gonna just start working that in here. Okay, <laughs> okay, she's bright. I'm scared. Jesse, get out of your fucking comfort zone. We're sick and tired of the same shit. I'm gonna run this color through the crease, and then I'm also going to pack it onto my inner corner, do kind of like a halo eye. I haven't done a halo eye in well over a year, and I'm slowly but surely realizing I do the same fucking looks on my channel, so I need to switch it up. So far, super pigmented. I imagine a color like this might stain my lids. Is this a pressed pigment? 
pigment but I'm not gonna lie this has been ugh, the application of these so good I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the imagination color right here tap off the excess and I'm just gonna lightly run it over the tops of the pink and just start blending that out by the way uh i asked you guys in my last video if you would prefer to see all of the blending and if i'm not talking just speed it up and you guys unanimously said yes that you wanted me to keep in all the blending and just put like music over it there was like one or two people who were like no i don't like it when people do that i just skip it but the majority of people did want to see that so i am going to be leaving in all of my blending i'm not going to cut any of it out okay so what i'm actually going to do to help blend this even even more is I'm going to grab a very fine brush like this and I'm gonna dip into this color right here it's called Wumbo it's a lighter pink so I figure it'll help blend this into the orange and I'm just gonna run it right in the middle of the pink and that orange and yellow just to like help the process I thought the yellow and the pink was gonna clash a lot more than it did it actually it's not too bad maybe not the best mix I don't know color wheels and shit but I'm trying these colors are blending so wonderfully I just I can't deal with it there's zero patchiness it is so buttery super pigmented like very very pigmented I find a lot with pinks that they're kind of a fucking nightmare to blend depending on the brand obviously but like whoa this pink is just it's a dream and for me to fucking say that when I would never wear a look like this is saying something. So yeah, basically I'm gonna speed this part up. I'm just gonna do the same to this eye that I did on this eye. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of my face powder since I'm not really sure. There's a shade here that kind of looks like it's supposed to be an all over lid shade. It's called Coral Floral and it's like kind of the color of my skin but in a weird cold toned way. I'm not really sure about this shade. Actually, you know what? I am gonna use that shade because might as well. So I'm just gonna dig into this shade and see if it's the same as a cream, yeah. Kind of is similar to a cream shade. It's just a little bit different looking than any cream shade I've ever seen. So that's why it kind of threw me off. I'm just gonna blend that into the rest of the eye look. And I have to say, so far, these shades blend, oh my God, better than any mattes I've used in a long time. And that is saying a lot. I have recently done a video of the most expensive makeup I own. I'll link it down below. And these shades are seriously, <laughs> way better than that. Right now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my concealer with a little brush and I'm just gonna map out where I want my little halo eye to be. I usually just use my finger to like map out and blend where else I want it to go. I don't know if that makes any sense. And to be honest, I just do this a little bit so that the shade will stand out better. But once I put the shade on, I'll map it out even more. Like I don't do things, you know, technically correct. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so I've kind of mapped out the locations where I want this color to go. And now I'm just gonna go in with this color. It is called Golden Pineapple. It's a very gold color. It's shimmery. I'm not sure if this is gonna ruin everything, but I'm gonna try this anyway. Oh wow. Again, I usually pack it on with a brush and then I'll kind of blend a little bit with my finger and just go back and forth. I feel like it definitely goes on more intense when you pack it on with your finger. That's the case with almost every <laughs> shimmer eyeshadow ever. I don't feel, however, like you need to wet this in any way. Like I feel like it's pigmented enough. Right now I'm basically resisting the urge to put a champagne color here. You know, the ones I use in every fucking video ever. Okay, I am going to go in with this color that's called Tree Dome and it's kind of like a white gold shimmery color I'm just gonna tap that over this shade to make it somewhat of a lighter gold versus such a yellow gold oh yeah I like that way better I felt like the other color was very very yellow like I don't know if you can compare these two like this just stands out more and to me looks prettier to be honest though I'm very biased because I just don't like yellow golds like I have never liked yellow golds never will bitch I feel like I need to get a more precise brush and make this halo eye a little bit longer not longer you know higher up because it's not gonna really show through my lashes so I'm just gonna kind of map out here how I want it okay believe it or not I'm happy with that 
<laughs> I feel like um, I want to add liner and lashes and then I could kind of take it from there. I'm going to put on this black liner from Urban Decay only on my tight line. Is that what it's called in that context? Like I know this is called tight lining, but is that the tight line? I am not gonna do a wing liner, I know. I know, you're chopped. But I just feel like when you're doing a look like this, it doesn't really need a wing liner, so I'm not gonna do one, even though everything in my body wants to. I'm just gonna do a little straight line here, or I guess not so little, since I just fucked up. And what I'm gonna do is do a baby little tiny wing. I'm gonna do something really weird that's probably gonna fuck up this whole look. And I'm gonna go into this advanced darkness shade. It is a shimmery purple. I know. And I'm just gonna attempt to do what I always do with wing liner, which is just kind of smoke it out a tiny bit. Well, I guess I ended up doing a wing. Awesome. I am going to use this Tarte Big Ego Mascara that I just got in this month's BoxyCharm. And I actually haven't tried it yet, so I'm pretty excited because people seem to like it. Fun fact, I almost always hate mascara when I first buy it. I always prefer mascara once it's dried out a good amount. I just feel like it gets thicker and makes your lashes thicker. Okay, we're having a bit of a crisis. Basically, these lashes are too big, too chunky for this look, so my beautiful husband is going to Target to get me new lashes. What you're gonna see me do now is do this eye, the eyeliner, and then I'm gonna do my brows, and I'm gonna prime my face, and yeah, basically um, just buy myself some time till my husband comes with the lashes, because I could not put those on. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> I was gonna speed this part up, but then I realized I have actually never tried this. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Everyone is saying that this is a dupe for the Tatcha Skin Perfector. Is that what it's called? Whatever, you know, that Tatcha primer that everyone loves and for some reason I do not. Um, an update on the face mask. My face still feels sticky, but not quite as sticky, but it's still sticky, which I think is a good thing. So I'm gonna just grab some of this putty primer. This one doesn't come with that little coin that the Tatcha one does. And I'm just gonna use it just like I would use the Tatcha Skin Finish Perfector. I don't know. And I'm just gonna put that on my T-zone area, see if it gets rid of my huge pores around my nose, like right here. I'm just gonna put my Milk Hydro Grip Primer everywhere else on my face. So I'm just using that e.l.f. one on the center and then my Milk Hydro Grip kind of everywhere else. Just cause this is like one of my favorite primers. I feel like it actually does help the way my makeup looks on my skin and how long it lasts. I'm gonna use a foundation that I have not used in quite a while. I actually only used it once and then I put it in a drawer and forgot it existed. And that is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. All I remember about this is that it does not last for shit on my skin. Like it lasted like an hour. So, I mean, I'm filming, so I feel like it doesn't really matter how long it lasts. It's not like I'm going to a party. So I'd like to try it out again and see if I can kind of get this to work. I'm gonna put this on. It is super emollient. I don't know, it's not like my Makeup Forever one that is kind of not tough or like draggy, but it just is not as soft as this. This is like fucking butter. And another thing, this is like my shade. Like this is exactly my shade, so I'm probably gonna look like a fucking pale potato. Everyone got this lovely summer tan and <laughs> I did not. I have not left my house all summer. For one, it is hot as shit. Like it is too fucking hot. But second, like I've just been working and I don't have time to leave. And then we have Noah, so like any free time I do get, it's for him. So I just wanna leave my house. So vitamin D? Never met her. Oh my god, I look like a fucking ghost. Boo. This is unfortunate. So I'm going to conceal, but I already know I'm gonna have a problem because this Born This Way concealer is darker than this foundation. Oh well, this is what we have. So this is what we're working with. I put way too much concealer on every time. Every time I do it and every time I tell myself, Jesse, don't do it again. And then I do it again. Okay, so before I powder my skin, I'm looking at my eyes and I just, 
<laughs> I know, I know you guys. I know, I'm sorry. I gotta do it. This is my J-Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in Chrome Galaxy. This is my favorite little pot of glitter shit ever. And I'm just gonna dab my finger on it like very lightly and just pick up a little bit, even dab some off on my hand. And I'm just gonna lightly go over this color. I know, I'm sorry, I am a glitter whore and I can't help it. It is this horrible habit I have where if I do not put glitter, the look is not complete. Okay, I'm going to set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my Hourglass Veil powder. You know, it's so funny that I love this powder brush so much because it looks like shit. It looks like something that's like lurking under your grandma's bathroom sink. Like this shit looks like it's from 1942. I don't even understand why I like it so much, but it is like the best powder brush that I've used. It's really soft. It looks like it's gonna be really chunky and scratchy and it's just not. Oh my God, my nose itches so bad. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so moving on, we have the Sandy Cheeks Blush and Bronzer Palette. And this is so cute. I absolutely love the packaging of this. It has those little like coral looking flowers. Also, the mirror is shaped like Sandy's helmet. And I think that's super fucking cute. And I also just really appreciate the size because one thing I don't like about bronzer and blush duos is that it's usually too small to dig into one specific color. So this is big enough that I feel I can easily get the bronzer and then the blush separately, not like mix the colors together. So I'm gonna go in first with bronzer because Lord knows I need it. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This smells really bad. It literally smells like fish and plastic. That's really strange. I noticed it as I was putting it on my face. As for the color of it, obviously I'm applying too much, <laughs> but I always powder over my bronzer, so I don't worry too much, like if I'm putting too much on, because it's just, I'm gonna wipe it off anyway. I am gonna do what my husband calls the makeup beard and just kind of um, bake a little bit, because I put the bronzer too far down. Something that I've actually been trying to do lately, but I just completely forgot to do it right now, I don't know why, but I've been trying to put my bronzer higher up and I really wish I hadn't just forgotten right now, but you know what? Next time. I always forget. Like I always say I'm going to start doing something and then I just forget and then I don't do it. But yeah, the bronzer does not apply patchy. I actually really like the color of it. However, I will continue to use it even if it stinks because it doesn't smell on my face right now. Like I can smell it when I'm putting it on, but it is such a pretty color. And something I'm noticing about these fucking shades that are matte from this company. I don't know, man. Hip Dot has like mastered the matte colors because even their bronzer that's matte just blends like a dream. It blends even better than my Fenty bronzer, dare I say that. All right, happy with that. I'm just gonna dig into the blush of this duo, which is a pinker shade. Oh, she's pigmented. <laughs> oh, good. Oh no, we were going somewhere. Why did this happen? Okay, blush is not my favorite. It is very pigmented, but in a matte pink way, which I don't like. I definitely prefer something that's glowier, something that kind of just like melts into my bronzer and that that's not it. However, I would repurchase just for the bronzer because I really do like how the bronzer looks, but um, yeah, no. Next, I'm gonna go in with highlights. I'm gonna use my favorite highlight of all time, Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlight. And I'm really going to put a lot on because I want my face to glow. Okay, my hair's looking a little funky, but we're gonna do the lips. For lipstick, I'm gonna use something I can't show you, but maybe it comes out on August 15th, I don't know. Well, Jesse, you're really good at keeping secrets. Okay, so let's continue. I overdrew my top lip quite a bit because I'm going through this phase where I think I want lip fillers, but I know I don't want lip fillers. Like I know I don't want to get them, but I kind of want to get them. So for the lipstick, they came out with a coral number no. five lip gloss. I thought it was going to be a lipstick, but at least, at least they came out with a lip gloss. So yeah, this one's called coral number no. five. They have one called sea star glazer, and then they have one called feeling fine apple, but I just feel like I have to use coral number no. five. It's obviously super sheer, like a tiny tinge of blue, but you really aren't gonna be able to tell it's blue. At least I hope you're not. So I'm just gonna put this on top of my beautiful lipstick. Wow, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna put a little bit of sea star gazer on top. Ooh, yeah, 
I like this gloss. It has a very, very subtle pink look, but not only that, it's glossier than the other one. I really like the formula in terms of like stickiness. It is not super thin and not super sticky. It's actually not really sticky at all. However, it doesn't feel like it's gonna just wear off in 30 minutes. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so I wanna just kind of give my final thoughts because I really am impressed overall. The shadows that I tried from this palette are very, very good quality. If you're looking for really, really easy to blend pigmented colors, this is a great palette for you. The lip glosses are good, although honestly the only one I'm ever gonna use again is this Sea Stargazer. I like the formula on it, I like the color, it's very sheer but still like adds a little tiny bit of pink. I think I really like these masks. I. I don't know. It's hard to tell because I tried so many different things today. I tried the e.l.f. putty primer, this mask, and the hourglass foundation, but I do have to say my skin looks fucking phenomenal. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, I hope it was helpful. If you guys are interested in getting the SpongeBob Hip Hop Collect- Hip Hop? <laughs> that's not right. The SpongeBob Hip Dot Collection. But yeah, I am just so excited to be able to sit here, share a collection with you because a brand sent me motherfucking products. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye!